So here we go through two fields. Well, fancy you guys being here today of all days. Listen, I've just got back. But, well, I can't really tell you. To be fair, I can't really tell you because I've signed the Official Secretions Act, haven't I, Voo Two Fields? You know, you know I have. So, my lips are sealed, but, well, I've been... I can't say too much, but I'll give you a little hint. Well, Declan, I'm in for him. Yes! Shh, shh, don't let on I've said. So, Claude Schwab always gets me over there because he knows... Well, do you know what he says to me? He always says, Gertrude, he always says to me, Gertrude, you are the very exactitude of conversational probity, my dear. That's what he says to me, Vutubers, because he knows I don't let nothing on. My lips are bleeding sealed. They're, they're blue shut, they are, Vutubers. Yes, they are. So anyway, and he knows that I always, I always give, I always give their lose a bit of a once over. Especially the systems, you know, the back. I usually have to do them two times. Very often, three times, sometimes more than that. Food two verse. Do you get me, Capiche? So anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, I was over at the World Economic Forum. I was, I was with with Wishy Washy Sunak and all the rest of them. Yes, and and just into heartburn. Yes, didn't you see me? Didn't you see me? I'm always surreptitious. I am, but you, you can usually see me at the back. I've usually got me mop. You know, I'm usually giving it a bit of a clean. But I do try and get myself on the screen because I mean, why not? I mean, if you're there, you might as well. Well, I like to, I like to get me, me snout in the trough food two thirds, don't I? But anyway, so they're saying that apparently the World Economic Forum food two thirds is a conspiracy. Yes, yeah. Well, I'm telling them, bleeping toilets aren't a conspiracy. Unless they can spar to each other to shit them up so I keep having to go over there bleeding clean them all the time. So anyway, well. They're not a conspiracy, they are a reality, you know, Voodoo Boot. Because I, my very self, Mrs. Gertie Mood, have been there, and I've seen them, and they do exist. They're there. We, what's his name, Mr. Mackerel? He's there. He, he can't shut up, can he, Mr. Mackerel? Someone's learned him a few words of English, and that's him off now, isn't it? You know what I mean? Mr. Mackerel, Macron, whatever his bleeding name is, from your France. He was there. Wishy washy, because it's pantomime season, isn't it? It's pantomime season in England at the moment. So they've wheeled out Wishy washy, he's up there. Something about Tony Blair. No one cares, walking with him. Do you get me? Uh, it's the China Da, Trudeau, what's his name? Just into heartburn, people like that. They're all there, they're all there. They've all got their snout in the trough. And I don't know if you've seen it on the news, but you can actually see me at the back. I'm right at the back, I've got my mop, and well, I'm just sort of moseying by, you know, I, I like to get myself on screen, do you know what I mean? I like to be there for posterity, or prosthesis, I don't know what it is, but I like to, well, why not? I mean, I'm there, I'm in the room with all these, well, magnificent people, so I like people to see, see, look, Gertie Moon, she mixes with, well, in the best circles, she has an entree to all the best salons across all the world. That's what I like to think that people think of me. So anyway, I heard that apparently the World Economic Forum is a conspiracy. Yes, and the Great Reset ain't really a real thing. Now, I've come on here to give you a little bit of an heads up through two thirds because between me and you, I need to tell you that uh, it isn't a conspiracy, it's a fact. Yes, shh, 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 it is. You know how about they're always going on about the new world order, we need a new world order, it's a new world order. And, well, the Chinese down the road is called the new world and I always order there. So it is, it's a fact, isn't it? There is a new world order in there, eh? They're all over there, we've got a one world government. And when you look around your country, whatever country you're watching this from, do you get me? I don't know where you're watching it from. If you're anything like me, you're, you're probably under the bleeding covers, aren't you? Do you get me? So anyway, Wherever you are in the world, if you look around at the country you're in, have you noticed that nothing really works in your little country anymore? Nothing really works in your hood, does it anymore? Everything's a bit slapdash and it miss. It's like so many snouts are being in the bleeding trough, there ain't no bloody trough left, is there, Voo Two Vers? And that's a fact. So, they get themselves all over there. Because they're all Klaus Schwab's bitches. Aren't they? They are. Let's have it right, they are. And Mr. Zelensky, I mean, he is a human being, he's not a god. Do you get me? People go, oh, he's wonderful. 
He's only got to show his face to win an award, and he, Mr. Zelensky. He's a bit like, uh, he's a bit like Madame Mal for that, isn't he? Very two villains. So I'll come to her later. But anyway, yes, Mr. Zelensky, he was there. They're all there. He's got a war to fight, but he can get himself down the World Economic Forum. And the World Economic Forum was actually funded by the Rockefeller Institute, by uh, Mr. Rockefeller. Yes, yes, it was, yes. So, apparently, something to do with that and the New World Order. Because many moons ago, I think it was just after the Second World War, that all the secret societies in the world have been working towards it. Madame, what's her name? Batislav, and what? I don't know what her bloody name. Some mental old woman from the Victorian times. Anyway, they come up with this idea amongst with that Lovelace bloke or whatever his name was, Love Lot, Loveless. He should have been bleeding Loveless. He talked a load of shit. So anyway, back in the day in the Victorian times, they come out with this, didn't they? They come out with it. I think Bismarck had his snout in there. And uh, they decided what we need is we need one world government. And something or other, and they've been working their way towards it ever since, haven't they? To be fair, to be fair. I mean, we're not supposed to know this, but it, it, it's happening. And you had, uh, well, you had Joseph Rettinger. Yes, the great, well, the most enigmatic man of the 20th century that nobody's never even, ever even heard of, who two feels. Mr. Dr. Joseph Rettinger. Yes, he was. He was a Polish British, Polish, I don't know what he was, Polish diplomat. And go back in his history, they were, well, they were like me, they were Jewish ancestry. Yes, the great, the great Jewish ancestry. Because to be fair, the Ashkenazis were actually the indigenous people of Central Europe anyway, if you go back far enough. Which is probably why certain people, who shall remain nameless, was trying to get bloody well rid of them. But a lot of them, they changed to being Catholic, you see. And Dr. Joseph Rettinger, he was, he was a Jesuit, yes, of Jewish ancestry. That, uh, well, he was a diplomat and he was a polyglot. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. I think it means he talked a lot of languages, to be honest. I don't know why they just don't say it. Because I thought for a moment when they said he was a polyglot, I thought, oh, have a look. He was bleeding. He was an interior decorator and all. But no, he wasn't. It just meant he could talk a lot of languages. And he was bestie friends with Churchill and Roosevelt. And you're thinking, shut up, Gert. We'd never even heard of this bloke, exactly. That's the point, you see? And he invented what is now called the Bilderbergs. Yes, the Bilderbergs, which is a meeting place where all the most powerful people all over the world get themselves together once a week. Well, once a week, once, they would if they could, once a year, annually. Usually it's probably on taxpayers' money, to be honest in it. I mean, I ain't checked their books, but you know, probably is. Uh, the first one was held in the Hotel Bilderberg in somewhere or other in Europe. I think it was in... Dutch land. Shh, don't say I said. So was it Austria? No one knows. But anyway, they were there. Uh, so ever since, it's been called the Bilderberg. Yes, it does. And they all get themselves around the place. Uh, they probably, they're probably just, they're probably pissing up the trees like they do when they go to Bohemian Grove, you know? It's probably just an indoor version of Bohemian Grove. And apparently at the Bilderberg, they have what's called the Chatham House Rules. And that's what I'm operating under. I'm operating under that now, at this moment, Voodoo Vus, I need you to know that. Gertie Rood is operating Voodoo Gods under the Chatham House rules. So in other words, anything I say here is my opinion, and it is not to be repeated ever outside or held against me, because it is my opinion. And if you do actually go and repeat what I've said, you're not allowed to say, I said it. That's the Chatham House rules. So, that's what they do at the Bilderbergs. They all speak their bleak minds. And you're allowed to say what's said, but you ain't allowed to say who bleed well said it. And out of the Bilderbergers came the Trilateral Commission and the Council on Foreign Relations. It was all down to your great Dr. Joseph Rettinger. Yes, and his move for one well government. And of course, he spawned the Klaus Schwab. I don't want to talk too much about his background, because you know who two gods. But uh, yes, so there. And after him came Kissinger. Do you get me? Yeah, he's still alive. I mean, do you know, it's about 128, and he's something like that. And, and then he had, we had the other one. We had, uh, what was his name? Zip, zip, no, zip, no, zip, no, Brzezinski. Yes, Zip, no, Brzezinski. Another Polish chap. And he was a security advisor under the President Carter. Yes, he was. And he was where? He was against Kissinger, theoretically, 
but they're on the same page world government wise. You see the same as Wettinger. And really, these people, are the, they're just the gophers for the global elite. The people that we actually don't know their names at all. The people who we know their names, well, they ain't really got no power. It's the people whose names we've never heard of. But to that end, they decided at the build up that they needed a one world government, a one world bank, and a one world religion. Uh, of course, it's, it's, it's just bullshit, in it? I mean, you know, we haven't got a one world government, have we? Have we? We haven't. We, have, we, have we got a one world bank? Is the International Monetary Fund, is that a one world bank? Yes, is World Economic Forum a one world government? I don't know. I mean, it's a matter of opinion. And what he wanted to do, he wanted to do away with all secular sorts, types of religion, and just have a one world religion, which was going to be paganism. And I don't know about you, Vutubers, but I thought that's stupid, because, I mean, you know, you're not going to have druids to that running the world, are you? Do you know what I mean? Or do they mean Satanists? Because that's actually deifying Satan, isn't it? Or Baphomet. So it could have been that, could it? It must have been like paganism. Now, what did pagans used to worship? Didn't they used to worship the earth or some shit? Something like the sun and the moon and the spring and this, that and the other. And the winter solstice. Wasn't that your pagans? Wasn't that sort of something to do with all things green? And, oh, we've got to save the planet, the mother earth. and that. I mean, that can't be right, can it? Have we got a one world religion? I mean, make of it what you will do to first. Because, to be honest, I just think it's a load of old waffle. I think it's a load of men just get themselves together and they like to pretend they're in a little secret. They're in a little secret cult. And they've got little secret handshakes and all this, that and the other. Because there's no way we've got a one world government, is there? I mean, it's stupid. And there's no way we've got a one world bank. I mean, it's one person just in charge of all the banks across the world. It's stupid, isn't it? And we definitely haven't got a one world pagan religion, have we, that just deifies perfectly natural events that happen throughout the world on the fact, account of the fact that we live on Mother Earth. That can't be happening either. So you can all rest easy. Uh, it's just a load of twaffle. It, it's a conspiracy. It must be. I mean, it doesn't make no bleeding sense, does it? So anyway, I'll give it a good clean up. I'm back here to tell you all about it. But listen, as I say, chat to mouse rules. You can say that you've heard it, but don't say who said it. Go to first because you get your old girl into trouble. Bye bye, bye bye. I'll probably be back on again soon. Take care, Voodoo. Bye, bye bye.